Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equation. So now I will show you how to answer. If we look carefully about this equation, this is equal to number zero. So we just find only complementary solution. So in this situation, I will put about yc equal to e to the power of lambda s. So if we do first the derivative, <coughs> we have lambda e to the power of lambda s. Because we do first the derivative of this one, we will do, we keep about this one in here. And later that we do first the derivative of this one, that's why we have lambda in here. So if we do second derivative, we have lambda square e to the power of lambda s. So we put this one go in here and this one go in here. So we have lambda square e to the power of lambda s plus 9 e to the power of lambda s equals to number 0. So this one and this one we can do about factorization. So we have e to the power of lambda lambda s multiplied by lambda square plus 9 equals to number 0. So we need to find the solution of this one. So we put number 9 go to the right. So we have lambda square equals to negative number 9. So we put the square root for the both sides. So we will have about lambda equals to negative 3i. And the second one, lambda equals to 3i. Because this is about the complex number for this one in here. i square equal to negative. That's why we have negative 3i and positive 3i. So yc, we have c1 e to the power of 3i plus c2 e to the power of, word of negative 3i. In this situation, we can write about c1 cosine 3s and c2 sine 3s. Now we have the conditions. So, when s equal to number 0, we put number 0 in here and here. So, we have c1 and c1 equal to number 1. Because this one you got 0, this one you have number 1. So, that's why we have only c1. Now, we do first the derivative. First the derivative of cosine 3s. We have negative 3c1 side 3s. First, the derivative of this one, we have 3c2 cosine 3s. Now, when s equal to number 0, we put number 0 in here. Number 0 in here. So we have only 3c2 and 3c2 equal to negative number 2. And we find c2 equals to negative number 2 divided by 3. After we find c1 and c2, now we go back to this equation. And we put the value c1 and c2 in here. And now we have the final answer. c1, that's e about number 1. C2, that's about negative number 2 over 3. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.